this is Sue with Get Sold, and I just figured I owed you an explanation as to why I haven't made any current videos, no video diaries, or some of the other updates I have been doing. This YouTube channel has been an incredible labor of love and fighting everything in me not to do it. But when I came home from Cali this time, I was being thrown everything, everything. Finding out now that I it, have a new situation that I have to deal with. Um, I've been chronically fatigued. I have something that I'm working on, I guess, called histamine intolerance. I didn't finish my course. Um, my brain just shut down. There's just was too much going on when I got home from Cali, my old life falling apart, and I sunk pretty low. And I didn't even want to look at my face on videos. I just didn't. I didn't understand all of what I was going through. Yet I sort of did. I know for a fact that we are being challenged right now, right to the core. There's a lot of us souls that are ancient, and we've brought with us many, many years of pain and suffering that need to be cleared out since the beginning of time, almost, since the stars began making planets, thus trees, thus humans. It wasn't until this morning that I went back to the healing that I had in February that I reconnected with the beings that are part of me. And I did get some definite relief. Uh, things got so bad, I made this really dark, dark video, but I didn't condemn myself for it. I said, while I'm doing Get Sold, it's basically understanding the light and the dark and the things that we can do to funnel the creativity or process emotion, process karma, process anything that we need to get up and out so that we can be our best selves. I have been terrified of being successful, being my best self, because I didn't know what that felt like. Because I've had so many lives you tend to remember the bad more than you do the good. The good lives we have in the past are just that, good lives. But the trauma, the drama, the loss of innocence, all of that really took a toll on me. The shadow work took a toll on me. Uh, so many things did. Because I've been around so long as, as a soul, it's just taken me a lot longer to process all of these lifetimes that I vowed I would clear. And we're all doing that now. But as I said, there are newer souls that haven't had as many incarnations of trauma. So this is what I've been working on. We are very complex beings. One minute we're living in the human existence forgetting that we are spirits in a body, that we are designated souls to be here to learn lessons. We aren't taught that. We also aren't taught what we're supposed to be doing here on Earth. We're not taught what our soul dictates, what our soul wants of us, and the bigger picture of what does Creator Source want from us. What is this all about? The struggle that's going on right now in the consciousness is light versus dark, good versus evil. And there are some people who haven't waken up to it yet. And there are some people who came down here to do double time, to do overtime. We're all going through our own emotional reckoning, our own uh, inventory of dark for the collective. What we personally contain is part of the collective. And it so happens that while I'm going through my stuff, sort of in a very odd place, uh, 
extreme duality. One minute I'm on the brink of just exiting, saying, you know, this is too much for me. And the next I'm helping a fellow healer out who's going through the same thing. And it snaps me out of it. Like any sports team, there's always the heavy hitter, the person that has the talent, the most work, or the ability to work for the team, work harder for the team. There were many chosen for this mission, and not everybody got a welcome. Only the toughest were to come down to help out with this battle. But it's affecting every empath, every sensitive, every healer, every light worker, every person who's just waking up. Some of us are doing double and triple duty to make sure that we clean our own houses first and then we can be there like soldiers holding up the ranks of the light. I do apologize for kind of putting in filler videos while I was trying to articulate how to explain what I was feeling, where I went. It just feels like getting churned inside out on all levels, physical, mental, emotional. And again, just as I thought I was kind of lost in my own world here, and I was, for me personally, my back is so far up against the wall because it's that make or break moment. I have gotten so angry because I don't know how I can make my brain work in a world that doesn't support it. I can hyper focus for 16 hours and then my brain shuts down for two weeks. I get these incredible urges to create just stuff that comes out of my mind, yet there's no consistency in my life. It feels sometimes it's like human versus soul. I will be honest, there are times my human gets so mad at everything that I've been through and accomplished nothing, so it feels like. Then I have to step back and look at the soul's perspective and listen to what it wants from me. My Taurus aspect is pretty stubborn. My personality can be persistent in the wrong direction. and Sometimes I don't listen to my guides as much as I need to. But I know that there is that little pot of gold waiting for me on the other side if I can just get out of my own way. I did speak about faith, purpose, and surrender, something that I've had to recognize over and over again in my own life. So I'm going to wrap up this one. You come with me back and forth to Connecticut and California. And you've seen bits and pieces of this crazy little video I made. It's up to you if you want to see my sort of haunting dark video that I made. Just me, the phone, and the woods. Luckily it's only six minutes long because it took me like four days to edit it. And I don't think I'm done just yet. On YouTube Matters I've been studying the channels. And I think I'm in a weird place where the algorithm doesn't know what to do with my videos. And that's okay. I knew Get Sold was going to be an all-encompassing thing. Because essentially everything we do from our soul's perspective is spiritual. Is human. So we're basically all getting sold one way or the other. Whether it's expression through creativity and art or wrestling or any of the other things. There's a lot to talk about, a lot to share, and be shared. Maybe this is the prelude, and the best is yet to come. I think once I'm past the worst of this, you're going to see great things on this channel. You're going to see fun things, some serious, but I think we're going to have a good time.